coming up on Fish Addictions, Whatever It Takes. Wow. Yes! Yes! Oh! This season, six guys, three teams, doing whatever it takes to catch the biggest three of 13 species in 16 weeks. This is whatever it takes. Yeah! Look at that thing! Bada bing, bada boom! Yeah! <laughs> That's a good in. <laughs> that thing's fat! Yes! Absolutely yes! Oh, now it's a part. Another night in the life of the fish addictions, guys. After last week's smashing success, Team Grease Ciders is out of last place and enjoying a three-point lead over the Bearded Buddies. Now, Team Step Cousins wants their lead back. Let's see if they can make it happen. Well, it's Friday night, nine o'clock. Anthony and I kind of got a plan for tomorrow. It's gonna be nice out. The weather's going to be okay. Uh, trout season is open in Minnesota and the Bearded Buddies and the Grease Ciders have went out and caught themselves some trout. I got two and a half hours of driving to get to my camper so that I can wake up and meet Anthony bright and early at this trout lake. Driving up on snow covered roads and Well, we made it here. There's about a five foot snow drift in front of my camper. She's frosty. We're here in this beautiful winter wonderland. Look at that scenery. All right, guide, I'm relying on you. I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> well, there's a few people here. At least we can kind of see what depth they're set up in. There's a bunch in there. There's a bunch down there. He's coming. He's coming. Dude, that's almost 13. I think we can get 13. We should maybe go outside and measure these. <laughs> okay, we gotta get another one. I'm like, I don't even think he hit the, the snow. He just hit the hole. He went right in the hole. Oh, the heartbreak. <laughs> just tugs at the old uh, heartstrings. I don't want to get in there. I don't know what I hooked with that. He was going down this hole. He was nose first in there. I was trying to get him that way. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. He's still here. He's coming towards you. Oh, he hit me again. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I got him. <laughs> I got the death grip on him. <laughs> Open the door, I'm running out. I just turned this with mine. Oh, okay. I grabbed it. Oh my gosh, these guys are so angry. Um eleven and three quarter. Well Oh my gosh, these things are so angry. I'm here. We lost two 13s because of operator error. This this feels kind of good. I 
That's this is mentally exhausting. <laughs> I the only thing I have to say is whoever's idea it was to put these things in the game. Clausen. <laughs> Had enough of you, Clausen. <laughs> Just mental anguish. <laughs> go go get him. Okay. Go get him. <laughs> that didn't happen very well. <laughs> I just kicked him out the house. He was headed back down the hole. That would have been the third one we lost today. This is so stressful. You gonna get 12 out of him? Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter? Yep. 12 and a quarter. <sighs> the roller coaster ride continues. Angry. Yeah, they just don't. They don't give up. Are you going out your side? <laughs> oh, I can get them and go out your side. We got the 11 and a. Can we squeak 11 and a half? 11 and a quarter. It's touching there. Oh, we got it. Touching. We got 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Well, we got three on the board. Well, we had a fourth on the board, but not officially. And we had a fifth on the ice that made his way back down the hole. And the frustrating thing is the first two we caught, the one was on the board was 12 and three quarter. Which was an inch bigger than our smallest. Which is an inch bigger than our smallest and we're currently an inch behind first place. And the uh, one we lost that landed on the ice and went down the hole was probably that 12 and a half to 13 again. Which would have gave us another three quarters of an inch, which would have put us in first. Which means we'll probably have to come back. Yeah, she slowed down. It's the midday lull. It's a good time to pack her up and switch lakes. Let's do it. <laughs> I think that's an upgrade. Oh yeah. Yep. Eighteen and a eighteen and three quarter eighteen and a half, I think they're gonna run. There's eighteen and a half. Woo! It's always nice to get an upgrade. Good morning. How come you only have one hat on? It's still early. Oh. Here we go. Into the foggy abyss. <laughs> That's a good one. Woo! Better go measure him. Again, I'm gonna travel a little farther from home, try some different lakes, um, check the perch population on one, see where they're at this year, and I mean, there's a potential for a few pike, but we'll see how it goes. Got uh, that Tabor with me, a little bit of a road trip, Let's see how it goes. This feels better if it's a perch. I kind of feel like it's a that's a perch. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that'll do. Not, not as big as they get, but that's definitely a better one. I think we'll measure him. So what we're doing here is dropping down, you know, a bigger bait, slab wrap, make some commotion, pull it up, let's drop the tungstens down, and uh, picking off some of the bigger fish. That is 11 inches. That is 11 inches. So, upgrade! Yeah, ooh, pike! Yeah, reel that up. Just had a pretty big mark come in. Um, knew it was a northern just by the look of it on the live scope. And uh, dropped down a big old two tugs and he smoked it. That was pretty cool. All right. 
percher on the menu, use a perch bait for them. Let's see what we got. So, tail pinched, 26. 26 inch pike. That will be an upgrade. Well, we got a pike on a little panfish rod here. And he's over there. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that's a better one. All right, let's see how big he is. I can't believe it didn't bite me off. Yeah, buddy. Not bad for a panfish rod and four pound braid. We might have to fold this out. I think he's gonna be over 30. Mm, no, yep. just all. So, big enough that we gotta... Wow, all right. Well, Got him. Yeah. Oh, we are. Uh, there's no marks there. Thirty and a half. Thirty and a half. Upgrade. <laughs> Well, that's gonna be it for us. It's getting cold. Not much for a walleye population in here. Perch kind of shut down. Got a few pike, upgraded twice on pike. Not giants, but I know that puts us at a 30 and a half, a 36 and a 36. Sitting decent there. We need some bigger ones before this is over. We're really hoping for big perch here, but that, I mean, we got one decent one, I guess. I said 11 inches is gonna be the minimum. We only got one that was 11. We got a lot between 10 and 10 and three quarters. On to the next place. All right, guys, going on a little mission. I got uh, got my sidekick with. Going after some tula bees. We'll see what we can get into, so uh, come along. Look at that, guys. It's a big bass. We gotta get this on the board. These guys are pretty excited. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> you think he bit me? Whoa. I think he's large enough. Josh, that's trying to help me here. Evan, that's a large enough bass. Yeah, it's gotta keep his mouth shut so I can measure it. Shut. Touching? Yep. It's 18. 18 and a quarter? Still touching? Right there, 18 and a half. 18 and a half. That's huge! He's gonna wave goodbye. <laughs> Quiet. Is that a keeper? I don't know. We're gonna measure it and see how big it is. What is it? It's a sunny. Sunny! Let's measure it. Back into the pool. Nine and a quarter. Well guys, we just got home. It was a, kind of a fly-by night, a weekend. Didn't have any luck to be fishing. Checked out a few lakes and then met up uh, with uh, our Evan's cousin Wyatt and we caught a few fish. I caught a nice bass and a nice bluegill upgrade, but uh, overall it was kind of slow fishing, but nice weather. Evan, did you have fun? Yeah! Yeah, we had fun out on the ice, so stay tuned. Weather's starting to get nice. We're going to be hitting it hard now, trying to catch up, make up some points, so stay tuned for the next one. What do you think, buddy? Yeah! Well, got nice out again. Nice enough, I guess. So a different mode of transportation with the snow being so deep we're gonna go out and chase crappies we're gonna do her follow along and i got an aggressive aggressive bait on he's gonna go oh he's gonna go i'm in the worst possible position to land a fish sitting in my butt Ooh. 
they're firing. There's more down there. Holy cow, that one just annihilated. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he got off, he got off. Crap, upgrade. Step cousins, should be a walleye upgrade. Mouth, tail, piece of ice, 17. Let's try him, let's try him here. Well, 17. 17. Mouth, tail, bottom tail, 17. We'll get a picture. All right. Well, made the trek out to Devil's Lake. Gonna be looking for white bass. I think we found them. Oh, the reflection on there. Jake Grab ready to grab There's that puppet minnow on there. I think this is a white bass. I had to make him chase about 15 feet before he smoked it. Oh, and he's it fighting is. pretty good. It is. Moving some water. There we go. There you go. There, come grab him, Jake. Grab him, grab him, grab him. That's grab a good one. Oh my! That's a beast! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, dude. That's over here. Oh, yeah. That a is hook. a beast. Yeah. Let me get him. Look at that. Get him on hook, get the bunk board. Another point on the board. Yes, white bag. This was one we were actually a little worried about. <laughs> yeah, these things are can be kind of tricky Look in the winter at that time. Tanker. Well, that's a good one. Woo woo! All right, man. Let's see your mouth closed. We're looking at 15 and three quarters. Then 16. Here. He's touching six. No. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. 16, hold that baby up, let's see it. All right, and there are a lot more down there. 16. We've been marking these things for about an hour. Boom. And just trying different baits, different <laughs> baits. Now we caught some perch and yeah, uh, a little different. Man, these uh, white bass, I'm pretty sure this is a white, he's quite good, um, are some of the finicky fish to try and fish for. They're super, oh, it's a walleye. That is crazy. So, all right, let me explain what I just did there. This fish came in, and again, we're fishing super deep, and threw a flasher rig on with a dropper, a tungsten, and a wax worm. And I worked this fish up about eight feet, and he ate that little tungsten and a wax worm. Just wild. Again, this, this uh, <laughs> competition is, I'm disappointed it's a walleye. <laughs> Nice and slow. Look out, Jake, you got my line. That should be good. Let's see what we got. Looks like Big a perch. nice perch. Got him? That'll do. That'll do. I think that might be worth a measure. I got your line, Jake. That's what happened. Nice. That's a nice Jumby. perch. Jumbie. Jumbie. It was 11 and a half. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Right. What do we call that? That is a... Uh, upgrade! Upgrade! <laughs> what do we got, Mike? I think we got a pitch. There's a lot of fish to the Yeah. Mackerel. Well, you're not going to believe it. It's a white bass. It's a white bass. He's not a big one. Uh, not a big one, but it'll do. Oh, I'm sorry. White bass! <laughs> Not a giant, but we're gonna measure him. We need three. All right, white bass on the board, mouth closed. He is 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Yep. What do we got, Mike? Ooh, a big old perch. Big old perch. <laughs> yeah, 
zombie. As long as he is bigger than ten and a half, that'll be an upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, an upgrade. Yeah. Oh. Like get the fight. <laughs> it's a, Come on, Jake. It's a battle. Never filmed before. Wait until the fish is in the hole, which is coming close. What do we got there, Mike? Ooh. Nice, oh, Whitey! Oh, holy Nice, Whitey! Oh, 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 we're tangled Jake, up. You're Jake, you can't let down. You got it. You're tangled up. Holy crap! Dude. Look at that thing! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that is one that we are after. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wrap that up is a line. Hey. That will work. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Yeah. That's gonna work. Okay. That is a giant white bass. I don't care where you're from, that's a big boy. Get your mouth shut. Ooh, 17, 17 and a half. 17 and a half inch or boom! Dude, that'll work. Let me just make sure. Give her one more measurement. Mouth shut. I'm really wishing he'd get to 17 and three quarter, but I don't think he's going to. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. We get the white bass point now. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> All right, so where does that put us with whiteies? So that should put us right in first place on white bass. Um, that 12 and a half you got, we gotta get that guy up. We gotta get that out of here. We gotta get that guy up here. But I didn't think we could give Taylor a run for his money on his yeah, white yeah. bass. Now get back out there to keep fishing whiteies, Taylor. And uh, Chris and Anthony, what are you doing, guys? All right, so it's kind of day three of this little bevy of trips a couple days ago i tried the lake for crappies and that didn't go well we're back we're gonna head out and camp i don't know can't hurt i guess can't catch fish at home Sometimes filming and fishing <laughs> at the same time isn't the easiest. There's a walleye. Ha <laughs> ha! That might be bumpable. All right. After some swing and misses, it's about time. All right. Step Cousins walleye. 17. Well, another 17. I knew they were in here. It's about time. All right, we got probably 20, 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Step cousins. Well, sun's up. All in all, I don't know. We picked up a 17, which was an upgrade at the time. And then I did have one uh, 23 and a half, which was a nice upgrade. I think you could steal the walleye category on this lake. I honestly do. Nobody has smallmouth on the board. That's a target of ours. We've got a, we've got a location. We've got an idea of what we want to do. Till the next trip. Hey guys, Jim here. Checking in from the old campsite again. Decided to take another trip up to Lake of the Woods and uh, set up a set up a cot and spend the night. I think 
I'm gonna do a couple nights. See how the fishing goes. Word is big fish, big walleyes, big perch, uh, maybe even an eel pout. We got gorgeous weather. You know, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> so I couldn't get my camera set up in fast enough. Oh, I barely had her hooked. That's an upgrade fish, boys. Oh, we get 27 and a quarter at least. Watch the tail. Yep, 27 and a quarter, baby. <laughs> Camp in round two. It's going well. get my life in order a little faster this time this is another this is a good fish another oh that's a good walleye uh, can't get her nose turned up the hole there we go <laughs> oh she's bigger than i thought Yes, this is exactly why I'm here. I came up here to upgrade walleyes and hopefully upgrade perch. And that's two this morning. And both of them on the dead stick. The jigging stick wasn't doing the trick, but both smoked, smoked the dead stick. So we hit 25 and a quarter there. See the other side, mouth closed. <laughs> yes. Give me the bubba. Give me the bubba. There you go. See ya. Get a couple nights in the tent. I think I'm gonna stay for three or four days if this can keep keep this doing this. This is awesome. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at this super tanker perch. Yes. Oh, look at this. No wonder they're not eating. These little bugs. They look like crayfish, kind of. I don't know exactly what they are. I'm not a bugologist. Nor do I even really think I know the word for a bugologist. A true blue 12 and a half. That's an upgrade. This is a fun game, but it's going my way. Well, I'm gonna have to cut my trip a couple days short, actually. Tomorrow is looking like a pile of rain, and then shortly following that is gonna be a three inches of snow with 30 mile an hour winds, and then uh, 10 below. So I'm gonna bounce a couple days early. Uh, maybe homegirl will be happy that I come home early because I'm <laughs> leaving again next weekend. <laughs> I think Taylor and I are coming back. We're going to do a three-day bro down and uh, see if we can upgrade and uh, find some other species. But all in all, a very successful weekend. Does anybody check bearded buddies? Check their beards, see if they've got some secret sauce hidden in there. I don't, I don't know what they have going on. They just, they just keep extending this lead, and it's, it's, it's hard to watch. The step cousins, Chris, Anthony, Dice. You literally let the stream trout point slip through your hands. I, I don't. Do we need to go back to little league? Figure out how to field the ground ball. I, I don't know what the deal is. But here we go. After a successful trip out to Devil's Lake, Team Bearded Buddies has taken back the lead from the Grease Siders. And like the stream trout, second place has slipped through the hands of Team Step Cousins as they have returned to third place. Come back next time to see who can make the best catches as the end of ice season comes into view. Next time on Fish Addictions, whatever it takes. So we're heading out into the abyss. Oh, <laughs> Whoo, that's a long one. Thank you for watching Fish Addictions, whatever it takes. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Fish Addictions and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.